Hi guys, it's your boy, the Noah Giovanna. We are back with another YouTube video. So today we will be going through things that you need to know as far as before going to Benet College or just any college in particular, but just Benet College in particular. As you can see, I'm rocking my Benet College gear. But anyways, back to the video. If you guys see me looking down, I'm looking at my iPad. So yeah, I have some stuff written out for you guys just in case. So that way I can stay on strip and I can just, yeah, keep it together. But anyways, back to the YouTube video. So these questions are a, lot, are a lot of frequently asked questions for students who are attending Benedict College. So let's start out with some basic questions, some basic stuff as far as like moving in and things that you can and can't have. So one thing that you can't have as a freshman, well, two things, is a microwave and a refrigerator. Now, these buildings are older buildings. So most of the buildings that are like actually on campus, like Gambrel, Mather, um, Goodson, I don't know the other, Goods, Stewart, there we go, there it is. Most of those buildings are old buildings. They were there before most of us have even been there. So, you know, it's just, yeah, those things don't really operate too well inside there. So you can't really have those. Now, in buildings like Haskell and Oak, yes, you can have them. But those buildings, no, you can't have them. It's just, it is what it is. Um, one thing that I would definitely tell you guys to bring is a search protector. Um, depending on what all you have to plug in. You may have a lot of stuff you need to plug in. And I believe certain rooms, there's only like maybe two plugs, maybe three. Um, bring, bring a surge protector. So that way you have enough room to really plug in all your stuff and everything like that. Um, I also highly recommend having a hotspot because sometimes the Wi-Fi is terrible. So um, it's always good to have a backup source that you can use. Because a lot of people, keep in mind, you have like maybe 2,000 students on this campus. And a lot of them are using the Wi-Fi. So, of course, the Wi-Fi is going to be slow, but it is what it is. Bring your hotspot. Anyways, outside of that, um, you can still bring most of the regular stuff, like TVs and stuff like that. I believe TVs have to be at least a 32-inch, but I'm not sure. Don't take that from me. But, yeah, you can bring TVs and all that type of stuff. No hot plates. I don't know if you still have those, but if you do, no hot, no hot plates. Um, but everything else you can bring, to my knowledge. Um, one thing, another thing that I would highly recommend you bringing, or if you, if you have one, I mean, it'd be great. Um, if you can, if you have an Echo Dot, Echo Dots are pretty good, um, depending on if you use it or not. But anyways, back to the video. Um, now we're going through like things that you need to know before going to Benedict College so that way it'll help you on the day of when you first get there. So one thing that I would highly tell you guys to actually do is make sure that all your stuff is clear because you don't want to get to Benedict College and your stuff isn't clear. Because sometimes Benedict don't play no games. And I would hate for you to get there to have to go all the way back home or have to find somewhere to go. You know, that's that's worse. That's the worst situation. I would hate for you to have to go through that. So just make sure all your stuff is cleared. If you're using the Tiger Portal, which is online, um, yeah, just go to Tiger Portal, go to your registration. If it says clear, you're good for now. You're good. You're good. Um, as far as like fees and stuff like that go, um, really just talk to somebody, maybe like financial aid or somebody like that see what you can get done. Just make sure everything is straight before you get there. I'm not sure as how moving in is gonna be this year because I remember last year, moving in was really, why is somebody calling me? 12 seconds later. Anyways, moving in was very different because there was COVID. Um, but before COVID, Everybody came, most of the freshmen came on the same day, I would say. Or it was just certain buildings that came on certain days. I'm not sure as the way it goes, but really it was traditional registration where you would come in and you would make sure all your stuff is straight. You have to wait in line. The lines would be long. They were long, very long. 
but you would come in, you know, just make sure all your stuff is straight and then they'll send you out to your room. But this year, I'm not sure how they're doing it because I know they are splitting it up by day. So if you need to know that schedule, there's always it on Instagram, but I think I may be able to like actually look for that schedule for you guys. Um, let me just see. If you have the chance, if you have Instagram, you can actually go on Bidding College SGA page and actually view the schedule if you like to go view it. But I'm not going to go through the whole schedule, but that's how you can get to it. And yeah, it'll actually be on the side of my screen right here, showing you guys how to do it. But um, some other things that I would say as far as like before you get to Bidding College, just make sure you have everything straight, really and truly. Um, some tips as far as when you become a student at Benin College, I would say would really be make connections. Now, these people are people you're going to be going to college for, for this way. So it's always good to make connections with people because you never know when you'll need something. Like per se, per, per instance, if you're not feeling well, you decide not to go to class that day and you miss something, but your friends or somebody in the class, they can get that information for you and give it to you. So it's always good to make connections as far as that goes, not only with students, but also with staff members, especially professors, because you never know, like I said, you never know when you'll need something. Like I have one professor my freshman year, keep this in mind, I'm a junior. So I have one professor my freshman year and she really looked out for me. Like there would be certain things that I didn't understand. I could just go to her and she'd help me out and realize what I was doing wrong. So really just make, connections with those professors, staff members, all those things, because you never know when you need something or never know when you need help with something. That's something big that I would say. And get active. Be out. Um, currently on the illustrious campus of Benet College, I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Yep, Buru. Um, BCGC, of course. Benet College Gospel Choir, if you didn't understand it, but you already know. And some other things actually on campus, like the comedy minister program and stuff like that. Please get active. There's a lot to do on the college campus. Now there is there's Greek organizations, there's community service organizations. There's a lot to really do. If you like taking pictures, there's organizations like Jungle Top that you can go and join. So there's a lot for you to really do on campus. You just got to get out there and just stop it. But I hope this video helped you guys out and yeah, I hope it was great and useful. And if you need anything, don't hesitate to hit my socials at the bottom of the screen and click that subscribe button. Have a blessed day.